solving inequalities using the distributive property. All right, so I'm going to solve this equation or this inequality uh, 2 times x, 2 times the quantity x minus 4 is greater than or equal to negative 6. So we see that we need to use the distributive property when we have this number outside of this parentheses right here. So what does that mean we're going to do? We are going to actually multiply this 2 times both of those terms right there. So it's 2 times x minus 2 times 4, which is 8. And then we end up with 2x minus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 6. Now that we have done the distributive property, we have a two-step inequality, which we're going to use the same steps we used before is we're going to eliminate the constant. Um, the minus 8, we're going to use the inverse operation, which is, which is to add 8. Um, to both sides. So I'm going to add 8 here and add 8 here in order to eliminate this constant and start getting this um, variable by itself. So we have 2x is greater than or equal to, and over here we have negative 6 plus 8, a negative plus a positive. Uh, we subtract and get 2. And now we go ahead and divide because this is 2 times x. So the inverse of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. So I'm dividing 2 on both sides of the inequality, which gives us x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. All right, so let's graph this. This is all numbers greater than or equal to 1. So we are going to have a closed circle over the 1 and shade it to the right since it's greater than. Okay, so now you try solving this inequality using the same steps. Pause the video, work it out, and then unpause it. Okay, so if you got this as your answer right here in this graph, then you're ready to move on. If not, pause it and try it again. Okay, so let's try this example right here. Negative 2 times the quantity h plus 2 is less than negative 14. So again, we're going to need to use the distributive property, which means we're going to multiply that negative 2 times the h. So that'll be a negative 2h. And then negative 2 times plus 2 will give us minus or negative 2. So it's a subtraction sign, but the subtraction sign and the plus sign together makes a, another subtraction sign is less than negative 14. So now we have this two-step inequality that we need to solve. And again, we are going to eliminate or cancel out the constant, which in this case is minus 2. So the inverse of that is to add 2. So I'm going to add 2 here so that this will cancel out. And then add 2 to the right over here to this negative 14 and actually do that uh, work over there. So on the left side, I'm left with negative 2h. Bring down the inequality. Negative 14 plus 2 is a negative 12. And now I want to uh, isolate the h still. I want to get rid of this negative 2 or this coefficient of negative 2, which is multiplication. The opposite of multiplying by negative 2 is to divide by negative 2. Notice I'm dividing by exactly the same number. This will cancel out, leaving me with h. Bring down the inequality in just a moment. Remember, when we divide by a negative number, we need to switch this inequality. So now it is greater than. And over here, I'm dividing negative 12 by a negative 2. A, posit a negative divided by a negative is positive. So this is going to be a positive 6. So here is our solution. So the graph would be an open circle because 6 is not equal to. And we still want the numbers that are greater than 6. So that's over here to the right. OK, good. OK, so now you try solving 
this inequality, negative 3 times n plus 1 is greater than negative 18. Do the step, or pause it, do the steps, and see if you get the right answer. Okay, so did you get n is less than 5 in this graph right here? If so, you're ready to move on. If not, pause and try working it out again. All right, so our third example here, we have negative 3 is less than or equal to 3 times the quantity 5x minus 16. So the variable is here on the right-hand side, but we still use, need to use the distributive property because we see the parentheses in this number outside. And the number is 3, so we're going to multiply this 3 times uh, the 5x and the 16. So 3 times 5x is 15x. Uh, 3 times minus 16 is a minus uh, 48, because 16 times 3 is 48. And bring down the inequality here, and bring down the negative 3. So we still want to isolate this x, So and it's a two-step inequality, so I still want to uh, eliminate or cancel out this constant of minus 48. So to cancel out that constant of minus 48, the inverse is to add 48. So I'm going to add 48 here on this side. This will cancel out. And on this side, on the left side, I need to also add a 48 because whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. So here, a negative 3 plus 48 will give me a positive 45 bring down the inequality which is less than or equal to and the 15x so i still want to or i still need to or i still need a 15x i forgot the x 15x i still need to isolate my variable this x it's being multiplied by 15 so the inverse of multiplying by 15 is to divide by 15 so i'm dividing both sides by 15 so this cancels out, leaving me with the x over here. And 45 divided by 15 is 3. And I bring down my inequality right there. So this is my solution, which I need to graph. OK, so we have 3 is less than or equal to x. So from this symbol, I know it is a closed circle since it's equal to. And we want all the numbers that 3 is less than. So that means 3 is less than all these numbers over here on the right. 3 is less than 4. It's less than 5 and all these numbers over there. So next, I want you to try. Okay, so if you try this one, negative 6 is greater than or equal to 4 times 3x minus 5. So go ahead and pause and solve and check your answer. Okay, so you should have gotten this right here. If you got this as your solution in this graph, then you're ready to move on. If not, pause again and try again.